I got COVID. I know. I wanted to make it two years without getting COVID. I wanted to make it the whole pandemic without getting COVID, but that's not happening. I currently have COVID, which is so weird to like think about. Like to think that I'm like, <coughs> like COVID particles, like that's just weird. But today is Monday. It's the start of a week and I'm feeling like a lot better. So I thought that I would do like a week in my life because I get out of isolation on Wednesday morning. So I'll do like half like a week in my life having COVID, half a week in my life finally being free. But yeah, I have COVID. <laughs> I think I got it on Tuesday and then my symptoms showed up Friday afternoon. It was so weird. Like Friday morning, I was actually so energetic. Like I was so fine. And then Friday afternoon, it just like literally plummeted. I had no energy. I felt so unwell. Like my whole body was just like in pain. And I felt like I had like half of a fever because like when you, you know, when you have a fever, like your body feels really weak and you feel cold. So I felt really weak and tired, but I didn't feel cold. So I was like, I don't know if this is a fever. Like, I don't know what's going on because I woke up Friday morning feeling perfect. So I actually went to bed on Friday at 9 p.m. because I was like, I need to make myself feel better. So I had like a huge like self-care night routine, showered, face mask, hair mask, all of that. And I wanted to get like a full night's sleep, but I woke up at 3 a.m. and I had a fever. And then I had a fever that morning and then I had a fever that afternoon. So that was on Saturday and I had a sore throat starting I think Friday night too. So I've had sore throat, cough yesterday, Sunday, Sunday, started feeling a lot better like honestly I was like nearly perfect today is my fourth day of isolation I'm feeling fine like I kind of sound a little bit sick because my throat is still sore like when I swallow and stuff but like I don't know I'm not coughing that much and then tomorrow Tuesday will be my last day of isolation because here we only have to do five days and then Wednesday morning I will be able to go out and about if you didn't know I'm in online school right now so I also didn't have to miss any classes I also don't have anything like really do this week I have one thing due on Monday like next Monday so I can't get an extension on that which is so annoying like the one time I get COVID I can't even like use it to benefit myself and get an extension on my work rude but yeah i'm doing online school and um a lot of my classes post all their course content on mondays so i have a lot of stuff to do right now i'm gonna start with my video essay class i have two lectures to watch two readings to read and four video essays to watch i hope that you enjoy this little week in my life vlog i have no idea how it's gonna turn out this is kind of an unpredictable week give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because i'm literally vlogging while i have covid leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and let's get started did the screenings and readings and lectures for my video essay class and then I took a quick lunch break because I was getting really hungry so I made myself some ristorante cheese pizza ate it while watching some gossip girl and then I came back to my room I changed out of the blue sweater that I was wearing because like for some reason I'm sweating like it's really hot in my apartment the apartment complex headquarters whatever is in charge of our heating and usually it's freezing in my apartment but for the last couple of days I guess because it's been really cold outside they've actually turned up the heating so change into a t-shirt for now and i am going to get back to work i actually don't have that much to do this week because as i said i really only have like one assignment due next week and then i also found out this morning i have two meetings that i need to prepare for which is a bit stressful so the next thing that i have to do is again for my video essay class and last week we had our first assignment due so like we made a video essay and now what i have to do is watch my peers video essays and write like three to four sentences about which one was my favorite and why so i'm gonna write that quickly now after i've watched a bunch of them and then i think i only have like one more small things to do this week and then i can focus on the big things so good progress <laughs>
I just finished all my work for my video essay class for this week, which feels really good. Now, the next small thing that I need to do is for my major project class, I'm making two music videos and I want to make like a production shooting schedule for that to kind of like have all the scenes organized, know who has to be in which scene, what they're wearing, location, like all of that. So I wanna make like an Excel spreadsheet sort of thing, but I've never made one of those. So I'm gonna try to do that today. And then that's kind of like the last thing that I need to do before like the big things this week. So I'm going to get started on that spreadsheet. But first my mom just showed me that my yearbook photos came in the mail. They came in this massive package. So I asked her to FaceTime me when she opens them. I can't unbox and film at the same time. Sorry, what direction? The other way, yeah. Like this? Yeah. You told me always to film the other No, way. I'm filming you. <laughs> Guess this is a bunch of pictures like that, the CD. Ta-da. Yay! Well, that's exciting. Feels like I'm a real graduate, even though I have two months left. But right now I'm going to do that spreadsheet. It's probably going to take me like two hours to figure out and finish. So I'll just see you when I'm done. I need to show you the golden hour light from my living room. You can literally already see the change. Look, oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> this is the sun right now. The camera doesn't really pick it up that well, but she is glowing. And this is what it looks like in my living room. So it's five right now. I might work on maybe like those meetings that I need to prepare. Cause I'm done my schedule and then I'll eat dinner at like 5.30, 5.45. I'm just gonna heat up some leftover pasta. I accidentally made like eight portions of pasta the other day. So I've already had three portions of pasta. This is gonna be my fourth night of pasta. And then I have like four more portions portions but i have been breaking it up like last night i ordered a sandwich but also this is the excel that i kind of came up with i didn't want to color code everything so i feel when you color code everything then it all gets lost but i feel like this is going to help me like let's say we're shooting a night scene and we finish early i can be like okay what other night scene could we shoot while it's nighttime and then i also um have their outfits here and i color coordinated that so that let's say we're filming a scene and they're wearing outfit number one we finish i'm like okay what else can we film in this outfit i've never done this before so i'm trying my best to just like organize myself so that when it comes time to like shooting i'm not wasting anyone's time and i know exactly what i need to do so i'm happy that i got that done i'll check it off and now until dinner i'm gonna prep those meetings that i have this week and i'll probably talk to you after dinner It's nine o'clock right now. I just got some work done on my couch in the living room. For the rest of the night right now, I'm going to go shower, wash up and all that. And then I think I'm gonna come back and do some more work in bed for that meeting and just work in bed until like 11. I think I wanna go to bed at 11. Thanks for tuning in to day one of this week in my life and I'll see you tomorrow. So I just woke up, went into the kitchen to make myself breakfast. My bagels are in the toaster. I got them out of the freezer and while I was getting my bagel into the toaster, I kept the freezer door open and this fell out. What a great start to my morning. Hey guys, I am considerably more awake right now. It's 10 o'clock. I had breakfast, got ready for the day, and now I'm going to start doing some work. I'm going to spend my morning doing work for my, what's this called again? Explorations in Creativity Elective because this is the class that I have that like one assignment in that's due next Monday. So I am going to spend this morning going through that content and then I'm also going to do the quiz today because I prefer fair to do the quiz on the same day I go through the content so that it's like fresh in my mind and I think that I want to get it done before I start the assignment so that I have that like course knowledge like course concepts that I can use in my assignment so I have my tabs open I have one two three lectures I have the transcripts open because he uploads on them on SoundCloud and I'm just can't listen to a lecture like that four articles and then one two three 
three YouTube videos to watch. So it's 10 o'clock right now. I hope that I can get that done all before lunch. I think that I can. It's 11.30 now, so I'm happy that I got that done before lunch. It's a little early for lunch right now, though. So I think that I am going to be doing a little bit, little bit of meeting prep. And then I'm going to have lunch at like 12. And then um, I'll do the quiz after lunch. Afternoon update. I did the quiz for my creativity class. I got 87, which is still an A. I think that means I got two questions wrong. They were probably the two questions that weren't even in our lectures or readings. Thanks, guys. But at least that is out of the way. And now for the rest of the afternoon, honestly, I'm going to do meeting prep because that is stressing me out. And then I don't know when I'll see you, but I'm planning a very celebratory dinner for my last dinner in isolation. So I'll definitely be showing you that and i'll see you when i see you that was that was kind of awkward i'm sorry love me dinner has arrived look what i ordered just the best pizza in the entire world i am so excited this is score pizza it's my actual favorite pizza i've ever had in my life they were very skimpy on the veggies today but i got three cheeses mozzarella asiago and they didn't have bocconcini which i usually get so this time i tried goat cheese and then i have spinach arugula cherry tomatoes sauteed green peppers caramelized onions and and balsamic glaze but I always add my own balsamic glaze because it's just not enough there we go and of course I have my strawberry lemonade on the side and I'm going to be watching some gossip girl cheers to my last dinner in quarantine guess what I finished my meeting prep Woo! It took me all night, but I did it. This is my last night in isolation. Good riddance to my COVID. Can't believe I had COVID. It's so weird. I was telling one of my friends I had COVID and she was like, you're the last person I would expect to get COVID. And I was like, yeah, me too. exciting i went to breakfast this morning with tori well like brunch i guess i got a caramel cinnamon baked apple french toast thing it was so good it's my first time having that i usually get avocado toast at that place but i thought i would try something new and then i also got freshly squeezed orange juice which was so good i got very dressed up as you can tell because i haven't been out of the apartment in so long i'm wearing this super cute white top with like puffy sleeves it's from Princess Polly. Use my code ZOZO for 20% off. And then I also put on my Levi's jeans with rips on the knee. And then I also had my like white shoulder bag. It was very fun to get all dressed up. I put jewelry on. And then after breakfast, we went to the camera store because if you watch like my last vlog or the vlog before that, I talked about how the part of my camera that attaches to the tripod is broken. And in Montreal, they told me that it would take three months to fix and that's just not possible so i went to the camera store in kingston and their repair guy wasn't in today but he thinks that it could take like a week so i think that if i do that i would do that um over our february break because i don't think i'm gonna be vlogging over february break so that would be like the best time to do it and then i also bought a memory card for my like major thesis project because i want to have one dedicated memory card to that project so i bought this 
for $100. I have two hours, I think, until my synchronous Zoom online class. Until then, I am going to practice for my meeting tomorrow morning, which I'm very stressed about and also very exciting. I'm going to be doing another Casetify partnership. So I'm gonna go onto the Casetify website, pick out some cases for my phone, and then I'm gonna go to class. I'm gonna put my class on my iPad. And while it's on my iPad, I'm going to edit Sunday's video on my computer. I'm gonna start editing that. I think that's my plan. Change of plans. I am literally falling asleep while shopping for case to eye cases. Like I've almost fallen asleep three times and woken myself up. So I think I'm gonna take a nap before class so that I don't fall asleep during class because that will definitely happen at this rate. I don't know why I'm so tired. So I'm gonna set an alarm for like 30 minutes because class is in 30 minutes. Good night. So class just ended. I am just going to reheat my pasta. As I told you, I have like so many portions of this pasta. I'm getting sick of it, but it's all I have. And then I'm gonna go grocery shopping first thing tomorrow morning before my meeting. It's 8.30 right now. I've been practicing for my meeting tomorrow morning and I completely forgot that I was doing case to five shopping today because I sent the order in during my class. But I have all these screenshots of all the cases that I was deciding on. I think I have like 17 screenshots. So I want to show you in case any of you are looking for like case inspiration in case you want a new case for your phone because I found some really cute ones. First, I was interested in making like a custom case with my name on it. I also really loved this like peach case, very summery and cute. Same thing with these cherries. I really like this artist. And then again, watermelons. And then I really liked this like neutral floral thing. I also have this floral one. I loved it so much, very colorful. Then I have this like kind of abstract looking black case. I don't have any black cases. So I was really interested in getting it. And then a Paris case, of course. Then I had like two watercolor sunset ones. And then this positivity one, I thought it would be cute. And then again, and I kind of wanted to make a custom phone case. So the first one that I did get is this Paris one. Then from this artist that I really loved, I got their lemon case, which I'm so excited about, and the strawberry case. And I also got an aquatic life one. I was in a very summery mood, as you can tell, and I'm so excited to bring these on my Europe trip. And I got a really cute plant one. I'm so excited to get my case to five cases. I have case to five on my phone right now. I have 11 of their cases cases because I love them so much. You can use this code to get 15% off your case to buy case. This video is not sponsored. I just love them so much. I'm talking about them for free. And now Michaela is FaceTiming me. Let's answer. Wait, I'm going to answer like this. Sorry, am I interrupting? <laughs> no. Hi, vlog. Sorry. Time for the biggest grocery haul ever. First, pretzels, strawberries, nine Nine fruit to go bars, raspberries, frozen pizza, pasta noodles. Oh, another fruit to go bar. That means I got an even 10. That makes me happy. Brooksides, cucumbers, balsamic glaze. Then I got cherry lemonade. I also got strawberry lemonade somewhere here. And I usually get strawberry lemonade, but I wanted to try the cherry and see which one I like better. I got some eggs. I got some nest tea juice boxes. I got arugula and half baby spinach, half spring mix lettuce for salads. I also got a whole thing of avocados. There's five avocados in here. Here is a strawberry lemonade I was talking about. I got peanut butter because I'm all out. I got some tortillas, some four cheese pasta sauce, and I got toilet paper at the grocery store so that I wouldn't have to make an extra trip to the pharmacy. And that is everything I got. So now I'm going to put everything away. I'm going to have breakfast because I'm starving. And then I'm going to practice for my meeting before I have my meeting at 1030. Hello, I just finished my meeting. I was very nervous because I really wanted it to go well and I think it went well, so I'm really happy about that. Right now, I'm actually gonna go over to my friend's house because he is going to star in my thesis project music videos. And he told me last night that he actually has time to film from 11 to 2.30 and right now it's like almost, I think 11.15 because my um, meeting ended at 11. So I'm gonna go over right now. We're gonna film maybe one or two scenes 
jeans and I just packed this metro bag with all of my equipment. I have my computer, my tripod, and my camera. It's literally the heaviest thing I've ever carried. But yeah, I'm gonna go over and film some scenes. This is actually the first time that I'm gonna be filming for my major projects. I'm really excited. Today is shoot day number one. Fun fact, the first day of shoot day for Harry Potter was the day before I was born, meant to be. Hello, hello, I am back from filming. It's 2.30 now, we had such a productive shoot. I'm so excited for my music videos to come together. So I'm backing all the footage up onto my hard drive. I just put the footage in for my SD card, doing all of that. First, I'm gonna make myself lunch. I'm gonna make myself a salad with the veggies that I bought, and then I will get started on my assignment. It's 11.20 at night. My afternoon did not go as planned. I made a salad as I said I was going to and then I ate it while watching Gossip Girl. And then I finished the episode of Gossip Girl in my room in my bed. And I didn't realize that I was that tired but I accidentally fell asleep. And it's seriously an accident. Woke up at like 5.45 and I was like, oh that wasn't supposed to happen. Then I ended up calling one of my friends and we had like a whole catch up call cause we haven't called in so long. So that took a little while. And then at that point I was like, okay, I'm stressed now. I have this assignment due Monday night and I have no idea what it's about. So that's when I started watching an hour long kind of like explanation of the assignment. And since I was watching that, I was like, okay, I don't have time to cook dinner tonight. So I ordered myself a burger with avocado, fried onion, and Thousands Island sauce, so good, and waffle fries excellent and I ate that while watching uh, Gossip Girl and then I came back to my room and I tried to figure out this assignment. I wrote down all the instructions. I tried to map out what I can talk about in my assignment. I went through like the course notes and highlighted things that I can use to back up my assignment and then I also wanted to get a template started for the slide deck so I found this template on Canva that I'm gonna use and and then I was super extra. I went to the camp website and I got this little color thing and I found the hex codes for all the colors on the website so that I could put those exact same colors in my presentation. And then I started by just mapping out the title slide. So this is what I have so far. So that's the update on my assignment. I think I did pretty good work for the little time that I had to do work. It's literally like 11.30 at night. I need to go to bed. Guess who just went to class for 20 minutes? You see. It was pointless. And we're on our way home. Getting gas first. Okay, so I'm back home already. That class literally lasted 20 minutes. It was supposed to be from 11.30 to 2.30 and we only ended up starting at like 11.35 and we were out by 11.55. This class was uh, my major project class, so like for the music videos that I'm doing. And this class was all about talking about the showcase at the end of the semester and how we're gonna like present all of our projects. But for me, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like it's a video, I'm gonna present it in the screening room. So. I left. I also woke up this morning pretty early to get some work done and I ended up starting to write my um, assignment, like my creativity assignment on my camp. I'm gonna continue writing this the rest of the afternoon, I guess, and hopefully it doesn't take me too long because I'd love to start putting it actually like into the slide deck because that's way more fun and creative. And yeah, I'll give you an update when I finish writing this. Hopefully I do that today. That would be amazing. It's 7.20 at night and I'm calling it quits. I am done for the day and I got so close to finishing but I'm not even mad that I didn't finish because I'm just so over it. I wrote a lot for this project, for like the report. I am currently 300 words over and I'm not even done. I just have one point left. Like I know what I'm gonna talk about, I just don't wanna do it right now because I've been working on this all afternoon and I am losing my focus, losing my concentration and I 
just cannot do it right now because I'm also like getting annoyed that after I finish writing I'm gonna have to go back and cut out like 400 words by the time I write this last point and I don't know what I'm gonna cut so I'm just I can't deal with it right now but it's literally so late that I should quit anyways so I'm going to turn this off and I'm gonna have a bite to eat for dinner I'm not that hungry and then I'm gonna go shower and get ready because tonight is Tori's well today is Tori's boyfriend's birthday and tonight is his party so I'm going to shower and get ready for that and then I'm gonna head over there So if 